Hello and welcome to a new video on the Crafty SMP. My name is Babsels and in the last episode we have constructed those three beautiful buildings behind me. Yeah, over there, beautiful. But now we want to get some more progress done. So I guess stay tuned, but first we will get to Q and make him a little present at his base. So let's go. By the way, I guess people have making some huge progress on the nether hub. I mean, there's still my guess. That's that's beautiful, but I mean, look at that from, from above. It actually looks really cool now. But anyway, what I need to do now is to get to Q and I actually have no clue where Q's base is. I mean, it's his portal because <laughs> now everything looks like it could, it could be the same. So maybe let's get outside here. Yeah, I guess that is Q's base. Yeah, Q's base. So let's go over here. Okay, now we are in his base, but I need to get on top of his base because I want to build something over here. Where should I put that? Maybe just in front of his little building. I guess I will just try it anyways. So I guess I will start building my little shenanigan because there will be a little alien over here. <laughs> I guess he can be friends with Q. I mean, not as close as me, right? But who wants to be as close to Q than me? What? Yeah, let's go. So now I'm actually finished building this alien insect. I I have actually no clue. But I guess let let let's look with three cam right. <laughs> that is so stupid. Because when you see the door, it it basically looks like this guy <laughs> woke up from the morning, <laughs> get outside and say Hello world, I'm here. <laughs> but first, let get let me get a coffee. <laughs> uh, I I really I really wish I, I could see his reaction now, but I guess I have to wait till he's online. But I think he would be happy about it. I mean, come on, who who won't be happy to have such a nice friend at the front of of their bases, right? I mean, I would be happy, but I guess I'm a little bit weird, ain't I? Okay. Let's move on to our little area and start to plan out a little bit more on our village. <laughs> okay, and stop laughing at this like from down here. <laughs> what do you miss that? <laughs> anyway, let's make some progress, right? So actually now I'm at my Zombroville and what I'm planning to do is actually to make a little quote-unquote storage system because I won't do a serious sorting system this season. I I don't want to deal with it. She's had some problems with it and I don't want to be burned out on Minecraft just due to <laughs> a little sorting system. Right? Yes. So I guess instead I want to do little facilities with like stone, with wood and stuff, but those will be a little manually, just so that I have enough space to work around with. So I guess let me design something in the creative world and then make it over at the survival world, right? Yes. So I guess I will design something nice and then I will see you back, so stay tuned. 700 years later, I have actually finished my little storage area unit stuff type of thing, right? Right, I have finished it. I mean... In the creative world. So what I need to do now is gather some resources but actually I should have most of it because it's a pretty basic building but I guess what I need to do now is make a little time lapse so you can enjoy it right? So I guess let's go. Ooh that's so trippy.
actually now we are ready building that little <laughs> aquarium kind of thing. But actually it will be my storage device. And I think I have done a good job on it, didn't I? I think like the acacia stuff turned into the granite stuff, into jungle log um, and planks. It's a nice gradient. It's a nice contrast with the deep slide polish deep slate yeah i guess it's polished deep slate and the stone stuff but actually what we need to do now is obviously put the floor in because you know it, it, it shouldn't be grass <laughs> it, it should be something different and i'm thinking like terracotta like green terracotta and lime green terracotta that could work i think i will do that and then we need to put in a lot of chests and stuff so i guess that's what i want to do now i will get a ton of chests and a ton of wood and then we will meet us again, right? So I guess, let me gather some stuff. Okay, now I am done with the floor. And as you can see, I haven't used terracotta because I was too lazy actually to gather it. So I have just used wool and I think the texture is actually pretty good as a floor design, isn't it? It is. It is. It is. It is really looking cool. So now I need to grab some chests, grab a bunch of hoppers. I think I'm not really sure like how, how I want to make like the modules of it because what I'm planning to do is like getting a chest over here where I can put like stone in it and then it will feed up and down on like chests and hoppers. So I just have to put all the stone stuff in one chest. Then I will have like a tough chest a deep slate chest gravel you know all of the stone uh, stone bits and pieces and yeah so it will be most of it will be like manual but all of this room will be stone stuff so i guess i will need to do a layout oh i guess q wrote me a message babs can you come to my base please i guess i need to come to his base so i guess let's meet up with q and see what has what does he wants for me right so let's go. If you want to know the story of El Gusto, then I guess you have to watch Q's video because I forgot to press record. But on good news, if you want to know why I'm wearing this beautiful hat, then I guess you have to watch till the end of the episode. <laughs> so now we have done the little explanation to Q about El Gusto, right? <laughs> right. So now let's go back to work. So what I need to do is to craft a bunch of bamboo into wood to make a bunch of chests and a bunch of hoppers. So I guess I will do that right now and then I will see you back at my storage facility. Let's go. Now I have actually made the first module of this little sorting area stuff. So as you can see what I want to do is actually to have these chests over here basically as the input and then when we go into free cam we can actually see the item spitter will spit out the items they will come to here in this water column and then they will get into those chests so what i have think of think of it's like putting in only stone in this module putting in like only tough in a module over here only I don't know, I have a list. Um, deep slate over here, black stone over here, then make a second layer, put in like the granite, diorite and, and so on. So it will be mostly manual, but still you have like a little bit of comfort by just, you know, grabbing all of stairs, slabs, all kind of blocks that you have just in here. So it's basically a little bit sorted, but yeah, just more manually because I don't want to put in like that much effort because I, I, had, I have done like a lot of storage systems and actually what, what happened every time was like I never used it really much. I, I never have. It, it, the chest must, monster still, still arise so I will do that now but first off let's test out if the system is working but I guess we should sleep first. Oh that zombie wants me. That really that zombie really wants to hug me right? You don't want to hug me. No sir. Nope. Okay. So let's grab a bunch of cobblestone. So let's put in the cobblestone. That seems to work. Yeah, that seems to work. So it should land over here. Wait. Oh, I guess it's stacking up in the... Yeah, it's stacking up the whole time. I mean, now it seems to work. I mean, not really, but anyway, it's it's not that important because 
like those chests aren't getting um, sorted so it should be a problem but what's happening here if you don't know it in paper all of the entities like those blocks will stack up up if they are near enough and so i would need to make a really slow item splitter system so they are um have more distance in between the blocks because now they are just stacking up and every time like another block wants to get into here they will stack up before so that's why they are teleporting the whole time right as you can see over there but yeah that should be a problem for our system at least so i guess that's good so now i need to copy it over a bunch of times and then i will see you again so i guess it it will be mostly me placing down chests and hoppers and making those item splitter stuff so i guess i will do that now right let's go okay now as a progress update maybe let's go downstairs i have made the first floor with the different stone types like cobblestone and i think we have yeah deep slate over here we have gravel over here and we have the tough over here on the next floor we have we'll have some different stuff like andesite granite and so on and i have done yeah basically half of it but now when i look at the player list who isn't there you know q where are you q where are you so there's basically just one thing that I I, I have to do it. Okay. <coughs> Q, I miss you. Where are you? Come back. Right. I think that was perfect. So please come back. Come back. But anyway, let's continue build on the storage system. Let's go! So, actually, as you can see, I have finished the second floor of the storage unit modules, stone storage stuff, yes. So, I have granite over here, I have... I have andesite over here and I have diorite over here. Over this side I actually have basalt, blackstone and endstone because I think I won't have much stacks of each of those blocks. So I guess that should be fine. Anyway, there's still one person missing. So you know what time it is, right? Q, I miss you. Where are you? come back but now actually we need to make a slime shop so i guess let's go over to the shopping district and just place it down because i have actually a design done i just need to you know build it on the survival world so i guess i will gather some resources and then i will see you in the shopping district because i guess i have done a pretty good design for the slime shop but i guess you have to decide it so Let's see us in the time lapse, shall we? So, actually, now I am at the shopping district, as you can see, and I'm next to Q's little moss shop over here. And speaking, speaking about Q, he isn't online, so you know what will happen, right? Q, I miss you. Where are you? Come back. Now, I want to build this slime shop over there. That area here, I guess, because that's a nice little flat area. So I guess I will start now, but ooh, I actually need some resources that I have forgot about. Anyway, you will see the time next now, so I guess enjoy it. Leave a like, leave a comment, leave a subscribe, right? Let's go. Actually, I forgot to press record, so there is no time lapse for the slime shop, but here's the slime shop. Look at it. It's beautiful. It's amazing. It's dripping. It's drizzling. It's yummy. It's the best. Here you can see the prizes. So one diamond per stack of slime balls and two diamonds for 16 slime blocks. So let's take a little more detailed look with the free cam mod. So as you can see, it's the slim shop. Yeah, it's 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 totally not because there wasn't enough space to to write uh, another E on the right side no 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 it was that that was intentionally <coughs> yeah intentionally um but yeah that's how it looks and i think i have done a good job didn't i i think i done a good, good job 
Yeah, I think it's it's fitting in the theme of this chaotic uh, shopping district. But yeah, it's actually not fully done because I will need to go into here and get some mobs inside here because I, I want to do some little shenanigans over at these little tubes that I have constructed. So I guess that is what I want to do next. So stay tuned and like this video. So now I should have everything that I need for like the stuff that I want to do inside that building over here. So the first step that we need to do is actually to dig a hole. Then we will need to get some Zombros. We will need to make redstone and we will need to subscribe. Yes. <laughs> Okay, now I have actually done the dole, the dole digging, <laughs> the hole digging, and now I need to get in some slime and some sticky pistons. The Minecraft X players of you will notice what I want to do, so let me explain it by doing some action. So actually, there will be a slime block. There will be, oops, no, there won't be a sticky piston. It will be. Come on, I can do that. Oh no, it would be. Wait, let's just like <clears throat> nothing has happened over here. Okay. So that is <clears throat> let me down here. Okay. So basically what will happen is like a mob will be here. It will stand on the slime block and then I will power the sticky piston with a redstone signal and the mobs will constantly like jumping. Because of the slime block, right? And what I want to do is like getting mobs all over here so one over here one over here one over here one over here and by doing that i think i will create a nice little um effect from above so when you're here you're seeing like the mobs do, 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 and they will be a little bit delayed so it's not like a straight line every time so it's like a delayed time so it looks like a little <laughs> animation or some sort of that and i mean it's really stupid of course it's really stupid but at the same time, I think it's a great addition to the shop, right? Right. But what we need to do, besides, you know, the timing stuff, is like getting a, a, an activation when the people are coming in the shop, so it's not constantly loading and not constantly, like, the mobs are jumping and stuff. So only when a person gets inside the shop and when it gets outside the shop, they will, like, get on the pressure plates and then the system will stop. So I need to figure out those systems right now, so I guess... I will have to do some redstone, some Zombro redstone, so it will be amazing. It will be amazing. All right, all right, all right. I have done some magic. I have done some magic over here. I'm professional redstone, as you can see. Yeah, look at, look at that, look at that. Look at, look at that, and look at, look at, look at that. It's amazing what I have done over here. And actually, it's pretty simple. Yeah, yeah, cheese. I have done some redstone. Be proud of me. Yeah. So how it works is basically like when you get onto those pressure plates, you will activate those redstone lines and that little um, copper bulb. So you will get a signal through that block to that piston, which will... Um, yeah, get the stone over here, and if the stone is over here, like when I get the redstone dust in it, it will close off the circuit, and then it will activate the clock, and that will power all of those pistons on each side. They are a little bit delayed, so it's not the same um, yeah, scheme all over the time. So it's a little bit different. It's a little bit weird, but it's a little bit cool, and it should all deactivate when I'm going to get on the pressure plate again. So let's go. Whoops. Let's go back here and step on the pressure plates. And it stopped. And if we get on the pressure plates again, it should start. Yeah, that's perfect. Now I just need to get the concrete powder in. Nice. And I think the next step is just to get some ops over here. So I guess I need to find some ops. Nice.
now, actually I'm done with the mob gathering and without Q I wouldn't be able to have done it. So as you can see, all of the mobs are in their tubes and they are jumping around like crazy and I love it. It's stupid, it's amazing, it's totally unnecessary but, <laughs> but at the same time it is necessary. Anyway, that is done. This shop is done. So what we need to do next is get to our secret meeting room with Moki, so I guess see you in the clip of that. Hello, Moki. Hel hello, Bats. <laughs> hello, hello. I like I, I like you, your uh, like your hat, and I I guess you like my hat too. I mean, I certain certain. Also, I like your outfits that you did with. Ooh, it's completely something <laughs> for uh, for this. Uh, also, and give me some ideas to to change also for uh, for the meetings next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that would be great actually if we if we if we put on some new clothes for the for the meeting. But actually, the community doesn't know what is it, what what is it all about, why are we here, what, true, true. where, why, why, why do we have a secret meeting? Also, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we have just made a little secret meeting room just to have a little bit of um, privacy around the server because. I guess Q and the other admins are sniffing around like little dogs. Like, <laughs> yeah, looking for for some some things. Uh, also, who are who, who's are the prank makers? Uh, they want to know. <laughs> they want to know. <laughs> they they want to know. So, so we are planning to do some pl pranks, some shenanigans in the future. We want to true. invite some other people, right? Also, yeah, yeah. I also got uh, two more more reds. Normally it's three, but uh, I needed one for me. So, ooh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And also, so, uh, I'm gonna need them for uh, to put it in uh, in our meeting room because yeah, it's it it don't gonna stay like this. Uh, it's gonna be much beautiful. It will evolve. That's what you're saying, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I guess now we need to figure out what we want to do with all of the shenanigans over here. Of obviously, we are we are hidden and stuff. And I guess we will plan out stuff and then we will see us in the next meeting and when we have some results and a new, I guess, meeting room. <laughs> true, 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 true. It will uh, absolutely be okay in the next uh, meeting. Then uh, all shouldn't, shouldn't stay like this and uh, will be all transformed. Amazing. Okay, I guess that's all we have to do in this episode. So I hope you had some fun. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you will comment, you will like and subscribe, right? Right. So, see you in the next video.